idea or OECD Sahel Club uh, friends. I am very happy to be able to participate, although uh, from Niger to your seminar, because I think that uh, it is very significant. In particular, the session on security and borders, I have to say. Because uh, uh, regarding the Sahel, I would say that uh, you find uh, very different ty typologies of, uh, of uh, situations related to borders, uh, starting from uh, the actual nature of the borders of the Sahel, which are um, very uh, different in a way, uh, considering that, first of all, uh, most of the borders are uh, really a bit ideal in the sense that most populations actually live across the borders and the border disappears in a sense. Uh, there is another type of border which is a border instead quite uh, significant in terms of a barrier which is created by of course by the administrative system that defines the borders and uh, when it comes to deploying forces and or in terms of protection of course uh, refers to the border that we find on the geographical map. There is a third kind of border which is the border shared by different countries, which is considered as a form of concern of uh, different countries. In the Sahel, I would uh, mention two of these, tri uh, these uh, shared borders, um, in which the border uh, sig signifies the fact that internal dynamics are shared. Uh, one is the three uh, frontiers uh, area uh, called the Liptapo Liptako Gurma, and the other one, uh, no doubt, is the Lake Chad, which is a quite interesting uh, uh, area. There are many other elements that we have to take into consideration when uh, talking about the borders. Uh, for instance, the fact that uh, herders and farmers, of course, uh, uh, have a role in uh, intercommunal uh, relations that sometimes uh, result in uh, conflicts because uh, of the nomadic uh, nature of the herders especially and uh, of course moving to from one territory to the other and the border becomes something once again a bit idealistic because it's not easy to uh, define it clearly when it comes to the freedom uh, of uh, movement especially for the transhumans. There are many other elements that the, the, the different communities that live near the borders that are particularly relevant for uh, security because, as I always repeat to everybody, they actually know the territory very well. So when it comes to intelligence, for instance, they should be our main source because they know exactly uh, what the situation is in, the, in their territory. They know the types of dynamic, uh, dynamics that develop in their territory. And of course, uh, this is something that uh, uh, constitutes an immense resource in terms of information. Uh, there are many other elements to regarding, regarding borders. Uh, the kind of collaboration you can find between different countries along the borders uh, due to uh, various reasons. For instance, at the moment, uh, Burkina Faso is affected by very serious, very serious security problems. Togo, uh, which is at the border, considering also that the population in the south of Burkina Faso and the north of Togo is the same, and the border, of course, is idealistic because uh, in reality the population is the same, uh, they are, uh, of course, uh, deciding to help Burkina Faso on their territory uh, with uh, military interventions because they share the same problem. So, as you can see, the typology of issues in the region are incredibly uh, diversified, multifaceted, and I think they should be understood better because usually we tend to simplify and instead the complexity is very vast. When I was talking about countries that share the same problem, that is something on which we should work more because, for instance, when it comes to the Lake Chad, uh, and we see that various countries insist on the lake because they, they share, uh, the, 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 um, the basin is distributed on different countries, uh, they, uh, they come to a kind of cooperation which can be very fruitful. For instance, they made, they, the countries of the Lake Chad decided to put in place the multinational force, which works. 
because it has been, uh, if not, not able to defeat completely Boko Haram, certainly to uh, inflict on it uh, a very, a very severe uh, de defeat in many, in many aspects. And Boko Haram is now really reduced to the minimum, although unfortunately we have always to keep, uh, to keep uh, an eye on it because it's very dangerous. Uh, so, as you can see, there are ways of cooperating. Where does the European Union stand in all this? We are perfectly aware of uh, the importance of the borders. For instance, in the Lake Chad, we contribute uh, to, to, the, um, to the fight of the five countries uh, in terms also of border control with pirogues and other forms of, uh, of support. We, uh, of course, are very much sensitive to the areas such, of, uh, such as um, Littako Gurma because we know that that is the epicenter of many phenomena, especially related to terrorism. We have various missions. One of the missions which I consider most important is the mission uh, EUBAM, which is the uh, European Union uh, Border Management and, uh, and Administration uh, mission in Libya, for instance, that really um, operates very uh, effectively in, uh, in uh, this sense and, for instance, uh, is also very much related to the issue of the connection between Libya and the countries of the Sahel, considering that Libya by the country of the, countries of the Sahel is seen as uh, the origin of all evils because it is from Libya that, for instance, the circulation of arms uh, originates and creates an immense amount of problems, especially uh, um, furnishing and providing uh, weapons to criminal groups. I cannot go more in details because, uh, uh, of course, uh, this topic is very significant. But just to give you uh, an idea of the fact that the European Union is aware of the importance of the borders. And this is why myself, uh, with the EUBAM, uh, decided to uh, create a new initiative, which is fortunately been uh, very successful, called uh, One Desert, in, in French, un desert, in Arabic, uh, uh, Sahara al Waida which means that uh, we put together Libya with the five countries of the Sahel uh, on, with the, the idea of uh, <coughs> improving cross-border cooperation. Uh, we have already done uh, um, uh, the first conference in Tunis, where all the countries participated with very significant uh, delegations. The conference was opened by Vice President of Libya, Al Kuni, and also closed by the Minister of Interiors of Niger with me. And uh, we um, have already started the technical aspect which with a, with a, with a meeting in Novachot, in which the countries of the Sahel with Libya decided what are the priorities for them in terms of, in terms of, uh, the, 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 of, of uh, um, tec technical cooperation. Of course, a very strong accent was put on intelligence.